Mikey can't drive. Yes, I can. No, he's got a green license. Michael! Wait, I can't see where I'm going. You guys, this trip to Sainsbury's is like, oh, you can't even feckin' see me. This trip to Sainsbury's is like a fucking ritual at this point. Every single time we just go for some form of fucking dessert. You have to unlock the car to get in it. <laughs> hey, yo! What would you say to Joe Biden right now? Baby, take me out for dinner. Hey, yo. What are we going to get? Profits. Profiteroles. Maybe a trifle. Both? Yeah. yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah. You just had a whole dinner. Yeah. I also did a whole day of work, didn't I? So. Oh, yeah. Fucking 8.30 till 4.30. <laughs> My man was out in the trenches, mm -hmm. fighting for his life, making a little bit of guacamole and serving some no, new didn't mums. Make any guac today. So you don't fuck all this. <laughs> this is introduce yourself. What would you say to the rats right now? Thank you. <laughs> if there was a rat right in front of you right now, mm -hmm. what would you say? Would you say, "Hey, what's up, baby? Take me out for dinner." <laughs> what's your name? Michael. But what do I call you? A lot of names. Like. Nice ones. Oh, <laughs> shut up. What do I call you? Mikey. Mikey. Mm -hmm. How old are you? 22. And when is your birthday? World emoji day. That's why I've wifed you up. Yeah. It's a busting day to be born. Apple calendar. Oh my god, this piece of hair is doing my head in. Having a fringe is all well and good until you don't want to have a fringe. I've had, okay. this, I've had this fringe two days and it's pissing mm. me up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Uber for Michael. Brand new whip just hopped in. Toot toot, don't fart. Christ on a bike. <laughs> oh my god. You have to look like actually that First off, let me finish it again. <laughs> Guys, look what we got. Reduced £2.60. These are £3.10. That's how you know the cost of living's going up. Mm. Death. Successful trip. And I got my mum some fucking dirty peanut butter chocolate, my cellar water, and a refill of my favourite wild deodorant. And fucking. Okay, I have something to say about this. One sec. Let me just tell y'all something real quick. I did an ad with Wild on TikTok like ages ago now, like probably June I did it. Ugh. And the comments on it yeah. were wilding because basically people were like, obviously everyone's got different opinions on different things. Like what works for me might not work for someone else. But I personally love it. I was using it before they even contacted me. And then people were like, you're a liar, it doesn't work. And I'm like, Jim Appel, do I look like a liar? Did I say me when I lie? So what did I just repurchase? My favourite scent, which is sea salt and cotton. Fresh cotton. Shit's bussin', it smells so good. Um, so yeah, you know, if it doesn't work for you, soz and all, but why shouldn't I promote something I L-O-V-E? Do you know what I mean? I had to get that off my chest. Sometimes I do just want to put my hands up in the air and say, I know I can count on you. But sometimes I also want to go on Woucher and find a good deal for a flight to Switzerland. Mystery holiday. I'll let Florence and the Machine write a song about that. Sometimes I feel like going to Switzerland because I know they'll euthanize me. Oh, right. Copyright. I take royalties for that. Good morning. I do look exactly the same as I looked yesterday evening. I'm wearing the same coat and scarf, but it's a different day. Um, morning has in fact broken like the first morning. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna be sick. <coughs> Bless me. Today's my first day at my new job. How slay. So yeah, that's the current situ. Um, I've just realized how wonky I've parked. I think anyway. I don't know. But yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm also quite excited. It's like almost half nine. I start at half nine and the time is currently 9.15. So got a little bit of time. Might just sit here and I do a bit of scrolling on the old social meds. And then yeah, I got my got my first day. Guys, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't even know why. I've literally worked here before, so there's literally no reason for me to be nervous, but still just feeling a wee bit nervous. You know how it be. You know them vibes. I am a bit uh aware that I might be really wonky. Hopefully not though, because I am gonna be parked here all day. Finish at five, so you know. Working nine to five. What a way to make a living. You know the vibes. I think I'm just gonna see if I can straighten up a bit because I'm just a little bit, a little bit concerned that I'm lucky. Yeah, 
but kind of slay. You're giving us nothing, but kind of in a slayful way. That's so me. That is so me. Okay, I've got work now, so I, I'll see you guys after. I'm going for dinner after with Mikey and one of my friends. None of my friends have met my boyfriend. The only friends that have met my boyfriend are his friends who like we share mutual friends you know what i mean and like it's a kind of a complicated story because mikey works with a lot of his friends that i'm friends with so i was already friends with his it's actually worse than my family tree no nothing is worse than that I'm trying to explain that to someone it literally looks like they're gonna have a fucking if you tried to explain my family tree to a victorian child they would implode and that's what it looked like with mikey when i tried to explain it to him he looked like he was going to implode um but basically we have mutual friends but none of my friends who are just my friends just mine um have met mikey yet um so we're doing that after work going for dinner um hashtag nervous but hashtag excited and feeling if i was to update my facebook status right now i'd say feeling a little mischievous and a little bit slayful ah! anyway bye see you after work Mwah. you guys I am absolutely, I am just absolutely bloody exhausted. I'm going to be honest right now. My one question has been and always will be, what on earth is going on in the House of Commons? Do you know what I mean? I'm so tired. It is 23 hours into this day. 14 minutes past the hour. Oh, wowza. Um... It's currently Saturday. I had work yesterday. I literally, I haven't spoken to you since then. I've been having fucking withdrawals. I've had to put a rat patch on. Ooh. I literally, you know when it gets to a certain part of the day, the 23rd hour, and you're just thinking, I'm feeling hashtag deliri. Today was quite like a, a Sunday feeling Saturday. Ooh, which doesn't give me much hope for Sunday because if today was a Sunday feeling Saturday, what's a Sunday feeling Sunday going to feel like? Death. That's what it's going to feel like. I was going to wash my hair tonight. Didn't do it. I was going to shower today. Didn't do it. So tomorrow, I'm just going to do it tomorrow. I'm just going to whack on a bit of the Plex, you know, Olaplex. Whack a bit of that on. Um, I haven't washed my hair since I got it done, which was, oh my God, it's not even been that long. I got it done on Tuesday. So it's been like five days since I've washed it, which is really good for me, but it does need washing because it's a bit, a bit greasy. Got a wee bit of build up up there. Anyway, my first day at work yesterday went well. Um, I enjoyed it, which is kind of slayful. Um, I'm such an avid picker at my fingernails. I hate it. I hate picking up my fingernails, but I just, I just do always do it. I'm sorry I do. I'm sorry I well and truly do. Yesterday, one of my best friends met my boyfriend, which was kind of nerve wracking, but really cool. I went to Spoons for dinner and guess what? I had a jacket potato for lunch, I had a jackpot for lunch, and then I had a jackpot for dinner. I was jackpotted out. I felt like I'd hit the jackpot. It was kind of slay. And then today, I literally have done nothing. We, me and me and Mikey watched like the first half of Harry Potter and Order of the Phoenix, but it's just way too sad for one little rat to stomach. I'm sorry. That film is heart wrenching. Um, I put in my letterbox review of the film Lol, starring Miley Cyrus. Um, I made a quick TikTok today about this is such a weird but a core memory for me. It's a core memory was when I was very ill as a child. I was very sick, and I remember at the end of the day, it was getting it was getting on. It was probably 4 p.m. vibes. Obviously, it was 4 p.m. vibes. Come on now. And um, I was sitting in my parents' room with my parents. My mum was folding the laundry, listening to the man who can't be moved on the radio by the script, and I was learning how to clean fold underwear. Bloody cool memory that. And then what else have I done today? I've literally done sweet Ethel. I've done sweet flip all. Uh, me and mum, me and K-Bags ordered in the old greatness from Domino's for dinner. Slay, love a Domino's. 50% off when you spend over £35, which that fed three of us. My dad is so ill at the moment though. My poor little man, he's bed... Sorry, I almost threw up. He's bed bound. So sad. Um, and I went up there earlier. I went, is there anything I can get you, my little madame? And he went, can I have a steam pudding and custard? I said, yeah, you can have that with my fucking... Sorry, no, I can't say that. When I make jokes about being suicidal, like, they're only half true. But I was like, you can have it with my death note. Sorry, I literally can't make that. That literally makes me want to jump off a bridge. Mm. Um, it's so bad. I hate custard. That is something you should know about me. I do not like custard. But if I was at school dinners again, I would have, like, chocolate cake with chocolate custard because shit slaps. But normal custard, I literally gagged when I touched a bit of it. It makes me feel so ill. I do not like custard. Custard is not me. No, not even one bit. Also, yesterday after i finished work i wanted to get a new water bottle i literally just felt myself pee a bit because that's how bad i need to pee i've drank so much fanta and dr pepper today but how the turbos have turned how the turns have tabled what 
how the tables have turned, how the turns have tabled. I am in such dire need of drinking more water. I think the pill did one over on me because I keep waking up with headaches at the moment, like bad headaches, like migraines that make me sick. Um, so I was like, I'm either pregnant or I'm just being affected by the pill. And I think I am just being affected by the pill because when I took the pill, it really did like a, it did one over on me and it was just absolutely fucking awful. Um, so I need to look up into other contraceptions. I think I'm going to get the implant anyway. Please, literally, I do not know what is the best, um, like, contraception to go for because any hormone doesn't really do well with my body. You know what I mean? It's just so frustrating. Anyway, but another reason that I do get migraines, and I know this is a contributing factor, is because I do not drink enough water. I really drink, like, two glasses of water in a whole month. Like, I literally wish I was joking. I'll drink, like, half a cup of water every single time I have a headache just so I can take the pills and then I can say I've drank water. But I do need to start drinking water again. So I thought, maybe if I had a nice water bottle, it would motivate me. And don't get me wrong, I have bought about 7,000 water bottles in the past. But they're, like, the like the cold flask ones. And they're nice, but then one of them I had, it just it started leaking stuff. And then every time I drank from it, it had, like, I don't even know what it was. It just it seemed like, I don't know, like this tar stuff so there was like a black rim around like the drinking bit so it would just go around my mouth and it was really weird and I just don't know what happened there and then I had another one but it was quite skinny and I was like if I'm gonna commit to a water bottle have I just woken up my parents I hope not if I'm gonna commit to a water bottle I kind of want like quite a whammo one so that like it will see me throughout the day so I had one from typo my mum literally stole it could have filled out a whole police report against her about stealing my water bottle anyway she stole it but i was kind of like it's fine vibes because she drinks more fluids than i do you know what i mean i just drink exclusively out of aluminium cans do you know what i mean i don't even know if that's what i'm made of what i don't even know if that's what they're made of but anyway and then i was at work and my boss she was drinking out of a typo bottle and i thought slay i literally want a typo bottle again so we were going to dinner there was a typo there i went into typo i saw this bottle i said s l a y i'm gonna get that and i got it look at this and mikey went to me you do strike me as a girl that has an emotional support water bottle i said first things first thank you second thing second slay third things third what the flip does that mean also so true vibes so me vibes so i got this you already know i'm about to make this water bottle a personality trait of mine and it was on a stand that were like christmas presents for under 12 pounds and i could have sworn that the bottle i bought that my mum stole was 12 pounds got this went and paid i used my student discount which is 20 percent. she went six pound 30 i went she complimented my scarf. I was like, maybe she's giving me that scarf because I've got baddie taste from fucking Primark scarves. Or maybe she's just like, I don't know, like letting me have it for like way cheaper. Um, but I was like, wow, 20% really gets you far these days. No, looked at the bottom and the sticker said seven quid. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. So it's not even 20% anyway, it's just 10. Because 10% of 70. Uh, what 10% of seven is 70p still i was i was elated with it i do need to go wash it out because i'm gonna put some water in it and might have a little sip i'm gonna practice Ugh. that taste of new water bottle i also need to put my leftover dominoes in the fridge ready for breakfast tomorrow morning nutritious and delicious am i right ladies i need to go to bed i'm so tired i i smell i need to pee i need to brush my teeth i literally feel like i'm really lacking basic hygiene today but you know what idgaf I don't give a flip. I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, I sprayed a bit of Lady Million. That's all I need to do day to day. Uh, joking, I am quite like on top of my cleanliness and my hygiene because I hate feeling dirty. But today, like I've been laying in bed all day so I've literally been rotting like a chicken carcass. Um, and then I was going to have a bath but I couldn't be asked. And now it's like... <coughs> slay bless me but now it's like 25 past 11 so it's like there's no way that's gonna happen now my bed is my bed is what bring bring calling anyway i've got to go because i'm so tired and i'm gonna piss myself good night i bowed but you couldn't tell night night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite i'm so serious don't let them bite up. Fact, magnets don't need electricity to work. Fiction, magnets do need electricity to work. You heard it here first. I was literally putting one of the attachments back on my mum's Dyson air dryer and I thought, air dryer? Hair dryer. And I thought, slay, you just do that because you're magnetic. Awesome sauce. Do you know what I mean? Ah!